there was an idea coming from the catastrophe theory branch of mathematics in the 1970s, an idea that a mathematical concept which will come into the collective conscious, the noosphere, the global brain, as soon as the wiring diagram of that global brain is sufficiently complex to actually represent that idea. That nobody has to try and wait a long time. As soon as, according to this idea, as soon as the opportunity was there, somebody somewhere, maybe an artist or intellectual or somebody in a mental hospital, will get that idea and run with it. So applying this uh, point of view to uh, the history of mathematics, we see there are basically at present five stages, uh, which I identify with the letters R-G-A-D-X. And as a mnemonic, I pronounce that agadix, agadix. So <laughs> each of these um, mathematical modes then becomes a center of attraction for recruiting other aspects, other neurons, nodes of the global brain, so that uh, the whole culture is reorganized according to the new mathematical idea. That is what we call a mathematical mentality. It's the new mathematical idea triggers a global cultural transformation and we could see that somehow in looking at the detritus, the archaeological artifacts, and so on. For example, uh, the advent of the geometric mentality is evidenced by uh, the great pyramids of the Giza Plateau or the megalithic monuments of Britain like Avebury and Kalanish. So these five mentalities, are Gadics, are, are, are for arithmetic, which I don't use A because I need A for algebra, G for geometry, A for algebra, D for dynamics, that means the early dynamics of Galileo and Kepler, Newton and so on, and finally the chaotic mentality which we are seeing in a process of emergence right now. Now, one way of uh, displaying the geography in space-time of such cultural events is in a so-called histomap. Uh, th this uh, histomap, let's see. Here's my pointer. Uh, here it starts at 2.5 MYA, million years ago, okay? And then we have the early hominids. This is a diagram from uh, Colin Renfrew, very recent book called Prehistory. He is the leading prehistorian of Britain. So basically an archeologist, and that means that he digs down from the surface. So we have the time axis here. It starts at zero, that's now. And then as you dig down deeper and deeper into the soil, you're going in deeper into past time, and so here we have the <clears throat> evolution and dispersion of hominids uh, from uh, Africa, North Africa, and <clears throat> the, the Middle East, and Europe. And <clears throat> below this lake here, we have Neanderthalers, and above uh, Homo sapiens. So on this kind of histomap or space-time diagram, I want to locate then the origin points of our five mathematical mentalities or at least the five exemplary cases, the nominees for this year's uh, Best Bolt Award. So that uh, red rectangle, then I'll expand that, and blow it up. <clears throat> and here we have on the vertical axis on the left, um, 100,000 years ago up uh, to the surface and the present. And so we can see clearly the boundary between the Neanderthalers and uh, the Homo sapiens 
and there that R represents our nominee for uh, the R or arithmetic mentality uh, category. And then where the other four, we have to blow up this rectangle, <clears throat> looking then at 10,000 years of uh, prehistory and history. We see the <clears throat> G, the geometric, emerging about uh, 5,000 years ago. That's, in other words, around 3,000 BC or so. And then uh, A, uh, algebraic, dynamic, and chaotic are more recent. <clears throat> 